when was the last time you smoked any weed? Uh, I don't smoke. That's... You're a liar. I don't know if that was the answer to the question I asked. And I don't feel like it was truthful. Right. Um, I, mean, I, I smoke like a pen, but I don't know. Oh. There we go. Well, okay, I smoke see, a so, pen. Know you're right. I should not so, so when when you're like, uh, let me think of an answer. I know. You know because I get lied to for a living, I immediately I knew that you were being knowingly untruthful. Really. When was the last time you smoked? Uh, two and a half hours ago. Okay. All right, I'm going to give that to you there. What's the, uh, what's the percentage of your, uh, your vape? Uh, it's like super low, like... It's like 65. It's like 65%. 60, 65% no, is not like, super low. No, but it's like it's I couldn't like even in a speak. Car. Like I hardly smoke. Like, okay, but you, but you smoked just a little while ago. Just like two, like two and a half hours ago. Okay, I'm All not, right. like I don't feel nothing. Okay. I'm a little Hang. nervous right now because. No, I get it, man. Cops, cops are scary, man. Yeah. It's scary. Hang tight for me. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Thanks. So one of the things that uh, makes DUI enforcement difficult on video is sometimes the impairment is very minute that's observed. Um, I've got some really advanced training um, as a drug recognition expert and a drug recognition expert instructor. Um, so I'm, I'm trained to look for really little things, dilation of pupils, um, pulse in the neck, you know, really little things. This kid's standardized field sobriety test battery or SFSTs were so bad that even the cameraman, just an untrained guy holding a camera could see how bad they were. Um, and then he showed you guys how bad they were. So that was, uh, that was one of the things that really stuck out about this episode is you didn't have to be trained. You could just have eyes and, uh, and know this kid was impaired and shouldn't be driving a vehicle. Once 30 seconds goes by, I want you to bring your head forward, right. open up your eyes and say stop. Right, ready? Okay, and begin. Okay, and how long was that? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. When I tell you to, you're gonna take your first step. One, two, three. You're gonna go all the way to nine. Once you reach your ninth step, once you plant your lead foot, take a set of small steps like this, and take your nine steps back. One, two, three, just like that, okay? So you see where you're walking, keep your eyes down at your feet. Count your steps out loud so I can keep up with you. Just the way your arms are now, just comfortably keep them down at your side. And then once you take the Good first step, don't stop until you've, you've gone down, turn, and come back. Yep, that's it. Yep. Exactly what I told you to do. Yep. Let's start over. That's okay. That's okay. One, two, three. Turn and properly. Second right, three steps. We plant my uh, feet. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dion. Was there was there any was there any part of that that you didn't? Because I asked if if you understood. Think about all the bad possibilities right now. Okay. Sorry, well, man. that's that's what happens when you do illegal things, man. We do illegal things. Well, and it's not illegal because it's 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 um it's weed. It's not illegal. And okay. How old are you? Nineteen. How old can you be to to smoke marijuana without a medical marijuana card? You're right. Twenty-one. Right. So. So if you're gonna if you're gonna stand on the mountain of right and say, hey man, what I did was is legal, then that's okay. So this was the first time that we had dealt with a marijuana DUI on Fridays with Frank, um, and during the whole course of the conversation, initially, kid's 19 and he's like, marijuana is legal. So in Arizona, a couple years ago, um, they made marijuana legal. It is. It's legal if you're over 21, but you can't smoke and drive, and that's like that in every state in the United States, even in California. Um, what you can't do, just like alcohol, you can't drink up, wake up, drink a 12 pack and drive down the road. You can't wake up, smoke a vape or smoke a bowl or hit a bong and then drive down the road. They're the same thing. You just, you can't do it. Just like it takes alcohol a while to get out of your system. It takes marijuana a while to get out of your system. And two and a half hours is not enough time for marijuana to get out of your system because obviously he's still impaired. Now he didn't think he was, but those tests I put him through certainly showed it. So you can sit on your couch, smoke weed, 21 and over, absolutely legal. What's not legal is to be under the age of 21. True. And to be driving under the influence of marijuana and have it impair your ability to drive. And I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Five, six. Two, 
1003, right? Be nope. At no time that I. So what I told you, you could you could stop. What I told you was, remember, count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 until, until I, tell I tell you to stop. stop. So at no point during any of that did you do anything. Well, I, I counted to 1,003 and I stopped. I'm not sure if you wanted me, if you wanted you to tell me to begin or not. Sorry. Right. That's okay. Do me a favor. So I want you to do right now. Put your hands behind your back, whoa, just like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, hey, listen to me. Oh, you drove here? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh. Don't you, Does anyone know that you can't smoke and drive? Yeah, I smoked way earlier, though. How old are you? I'm 19. Okay. What's way earlier to you? Way earlier around lunchtime. So, so what? <sighs> Your generation is doomed. I was so right. Someone here to get his vehicle that has not smoked today. Okay. Find find someone, if there's anyone in Castle Grand that hasn't smoked weed today, find them and have them come here, okay? Don't drive. Is that, that fair? Okay, and then he'll call you, he has your number? He'll call you in a little bit. Thanks, I appreciate it. We've seen some comments about, well, why didn't you arrest the second kid? Um, when I first saw, put eyes on the second kid, he was walking up, so I never saw him driving. Um, and the law requires me to see him driving or have video of him driving or, or have someone that saw him drive. We didn't have any of those. So I couldn't, even though he said it, um, I couldn't take his word for it. So that's why he didn't get arrested for DUI. Um, in there, I say, hey, your generation is doomed. Um, Sam, who's a millennial, um, I have mentioned several times that millennials are terrible. And then what I really meant was that zennials are terrible. Um, those people like born from like 2000 and later, um, some people that weren't alive for 9-11, uh, people that have feelings and uh, all that stuff. That's really who I'm talking about. And that's this generation, this weed smoking in the middle of the day um, because they're losers, that, that generation. <sighs> Tell your friends that you can't smoke weed and drive. Like smoke weed, sit on your couch with a medical marijuana card if you're under the age of 21. Sit on your couch. Like, bake yourself pizza, bake yourself, whatever. Don't drive. St. Patrick's Day, obviously traditionally a drinking holiday. Um, but I think people smoke weed all day, every day. I don't think that they care. It's not, it's, it's 317, it's not 420, no one cares. I think it's just, I think people just smoke marijuana all day, every day. And then drive around. It is far more drug-related impairment than there is alcohol-related impairment. And even today being St. Patrick's Day, no one's been arrested for DUI alcohol. So that's episode 12. Uh, it's a fan favorite. Uh, obviously, that generation is doomed, so I hit that nail on the head. And um, we've got the Loud Muffle episode coming up next, so check it out.